Warning, proceed with caution. The thoughts and views that these individuals have or speak on are for entertainment only. The hosts of this podcast are from the streets and for the streets. Please consume responsibly. Fuck, man. I used to look forward to that shit. Like big events like that, whether it's two days, three days, and you're going to fucking, you know, you're going to get. For me, I was like, yo, you're in hella hours, first and foremost. Yeah. And you're DJing at roll. You're DJing at a festival where like. This is a mecca of hip hop for the weekend. And all the, the bosses are gonna be there. You get to host, let people know who you are. Exactly. And shine. Like you gotta turn into that motherfucker just for that weekend. Like show out. I was. It was so hard for me just to like, not do the mic like rap. Yeah. I nah, like, but Fuck. I will say this: you fucking killed it when, uh, when Pizza Hut showed up. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. So. I saw the videos. No. So and the crazy part too was. Pizza Hut came, or like first. Did you send a message to them already? So Pizza Hut and but it wasn't Pizza. It was Yeasty Boys. It was their collab. It was the Yeasty Boys team. So it was more Yeasty Boys than. It was the Yeasty Boys. It was it was their uh, setup. They just had Pizza Hut as a brand to throw mm. on top. Because I asked the team in the back, like, "Oh, are you guys from Pizza Hut? Like from the thing?" They're like, "Oh no, we're Yeasty Boys." So when they showed up initially. Louisa and Melissa went straight to no, was it Melissa? Yeah, Louisa and Melissa went straight to Audio Rock, and they had like all these fucking pizzas, and they're like, "Oh, hey, like here's Audio, uh, this is Audio Rock, blah blah." He's kind of in charge right now, and they're like, "Hey, they want to give out these pizzas and this and that." Like, uh, would you want to just do it right now? We do an announcement. He was like, "Um, let me wait for Juju and like see where he's at." I think he was doing interviews. He'd be here like in five ten minutes, so that's what they were waiting. And then, so I knew you were out there, and then you fucking showed up. Fucking told them what to do, blah, blah, blah. And you're like, all right, let's go grab the mic. Audio Rock, get on. Went and, went around and I looked and fucking turned that shit on to a party. And I was like, oh, <laughs> shit. He had girls twerking with the pizza box on top. I was like, damn. Yeah. Juju fucking just like that. Went from fucking the boss of going backstage, doing interviews to showing up. And then got on the mic and killed it. Sheesh. Oh. Un aplauso. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Don't cut that part out. <laughs> <laughs> now nah, you did your thing though. I was Thank like, you. and and everyone has his respect, so it was it was dope to see though. Aww. Like I showed up all fucking lit. Not Juju's cry. calling shots. Not cry. Cause cause that's what fucking bosses do. You yeah. know that's what they do. They wait for you. You show up and you tell them. You give instructions. Then you make shit happen. Yeah, and it was good to see him show out on the mic whenever he had a chance to. Cause every time I would see like the younger, like the newer people, I would tell them. If you ever have a chance to see Juju on the mic, like, activate like that. Like, go from, like, being backstage, chilling, whatever, talking, but then once you get on the mic, like, you just turn it on and, you know, you just, you're, you're quick on your monster. feet. monster, yeah. <laughs> Guys, I can't take this right now. I love it. <laughs> I'm overcome with emotions right now. I will cry. I will cry. <laughs> oh, thank you, guys. No, I Daniel said it. the same thing when we did the the giveaway with the kids. He goes, hey, Juju's fucking good on the mic, huh? Yeah. And I'm like, yeah. Like, he's great at what he does. Yeah, the difference between him and, like, a lot of people is just that he's just not discovered yet. Yeah. That's what it is. It's discover- discoverability. Yeah. That's what I call it. That's what I tell a lot of people. The difference between me and you or him and somebody who's huge is just that you just haven't been discovered yet. At least yeah. not by the right people. Well, but it's also his fault. Mm. There we go. <laughs> That's what I was waiting for. <laughs> Because he had so many hands there. Where are the videos of what he did? I mm. saw all the Pizza Hut stuff, but you had so many street teamers. At one point, as a boss, right, you have to be like, here, take footage. And then you create that footage so people can discover him and go on his page and see that. You know what? You're right. I'll ask Luisa tomorrow if she has anything. They did film a lot. You should. Absolutely. And then moving forward, you know, because he's there and he's like setting everyone up. But at one point, you have to kind of set yourself up, too. You know, it's like how I say, can you take this picture of me so I can put content? Because in the back of my head, it's always or him. He like stopped and take a picture of me because he knows that you're going to put that Mm -hmm. for content. At one point, you have to say, here, take this picture of me, my outfit or take this or whatever. Like, you know, tap into that because it needs to be discovered. You're so good. But. Pizza Hut knows. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, guys. Yeah. <laughs> that was great. Uh, wrap it up. Episode 31. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, let's go. Oh, here it is.
That's him, right? Yeah. Which shout out to this watch this clock never ceases to impress me. It did the chime change on its own. It and says yeah. twenty two, it's not twenty two. It's ten already, fam. Military time. You're, please tell me you know military time. I'll go wake him up right now. <laughs> <laughs> twenty two say hut. Is that how it goes? She says said hut. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Hey, that was before me. I'm just a little baby. <laughs> Don't you wear military pants? There is. Buy me a new pair. Fraud. Stop. <laughs> Fraud. You know, it's actually. Did I tell you guys that the security guard downstairs, he goes, um, Oh, I like your pants. And I was like, Oh, thank you. I, I said, Thank you. They're my husband's. He goes, oh, he must be old because those are the old ones. They don't make them like that anymore. <laughs> he goes, I'm a Marine also, and I have the the newer one. The young guy? Yeah. Oh, shit. Now I feel safe. <laughs> <laughs> kind of want someone to take over the building now. Just yeah. like a little diehard moment. Yeah. He's like, oh, those are the older ones. Like They don't make those anymore. I'm like, vintage. Just like my husband. <laughs> When was the last time he served? Well, when did he retire from the service? Who, my husband? <laughs> 2004. Fuck. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> oh, shit. Was I 14? Yeah, 2004. He was 24. I tried to think of shit like that. You got 10 years on you? Yeah. Shit. So I was 14. He was 24. Mm, don't think about it like that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not think about that. Uh, okay. <laughs> episode 31. Let's start that off right. <laughs> I, don't, I feel like my head. Don't do it. Don't oh do it. Oh, my God. Uh, it... No, there's just no room for you to crop. What do you mean? My head is literally. Oh, she's too close again. You back moved everything head. up. No, I moved back. There you go. Okay, it looks crooked. It's fine. Para el santo que es y los milagros que hace. In English, please. For the saints there are and the miracles they make? For the saint I am and the miracles I make. No big deal. Who cares? It's just me. Is that what that means? Mm hmm Ugh, <laughs> you're conceited, bro. <laughs> what? I thought it was like a religion, like, you know, like, Shout out to the saints for looking out for me. <laughs> no. It's like if someone says, hey, make sure that we clean this place up because Juju's coming. And I'll say, pal santo que es y los milagros que hace. Like, it's just Juju. Hmm. So you're saying <laughs> I'm saying it's just you? Yeah. Like she's patting you... herself on the back. No. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. What I'm saying is he's saying it's just me. Like, pal santo que es y los milagros que hace. Like, it's just Melissa. It doesn't matter that it's, like, off. It doesn't matter that it's crooked because I, I could fix it after. I know. So he's the santo that makes miracles. Oh, okay, You're la welcome. chingada. No. I make you look good. No. Like other podcasts. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> hey, do you think hey. that it was... The ca it's the camera. I looked bad. It's like, the camera because I. Uh, I looked bad. Was it the angle? Was it I? He's they using, called me. They're using some movie cameras. They call those are me good cameras. chunky. They no. call, what they call me gorda. Chubby. <laughs> That's it. Dang, chubby is crazy. I'd rather be called chunky. Could you be like chunky but funky, baby? Chubby. Mm, hey, chubby. I got bullied. I got Internet fucking bullied. bullied, dude. On that. Like, the comment section, people were just going in. They were like, Melissa wants Nick Cannon's 13th baby. <laughs> like, take the... Bully. Like, take the <clears throat> cock out of you or something. <laughs> <laughs> like, it just... It was crazy, and it made me realize how happy I am for our community. Like, I know that a lot of these shows have maybe more followers, maybe more comments 
But when you go through our comments, like, it's a community. Like, it's our people. Except for that one guy from New Mexico. <laughs> season one. <laughs> yeah, but that was YouTube. Though. <laughs> and, and they, like, comment shit and they know what we're talking about. Like, inside jokes. And they never talk shit about me, about you guys. Like, I, I just... Mean, I mean, I don't see it. You get called chubby sometimes, but it's okay. By you. <laughs> <laughs> I have my own comment section right here. <laughs> <laughs> but to see those comments, I was like, damn, this is wild. And I know that with, how, what did Cat Williams say? Like, if you only have two haters, by the end of the summer, you want to have four or five. But I don't know if I want that. That was fast, too. Like, I liked it. I'm like, oh, shit. Let me see the comments. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Like, they came after me hard. Like, oh, you look chunky. And I'm okay with looking. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> what is, when did you shoot that? It was before you started working out, right? No. How long ago was it? <laughs> like, two weeks ago. <laughs> no. Nah. Like, three weeks ago. No. No. Huh. <laughs> like a year ago, right? <laughs> but don't I look? And you know what? You're right. But it's maybe, a camera. No, maybe it is such a good camera. And this is why I'm not on television yet. Because that's what I would look like on television. <laughs> Without a filter. <laughs> no, but it's, but it's, there's cameras. That's what they say. Some cameras like add 10 pounds to you. That one added 20. <laughs> no, because even like, uh, uh, what was the, there was another podcast, the Cisco and Mike podcast that came out on. And... The fucking you? angle they had me, I'm like, God damn, I look massive. Like, <laughs> like I know I'm big, but... Has it ever occurred to you that we just are? Oh. Well, com- <laughs> <laughs> hey. No, like, I was really thinking, like, I know, I no, I, like, not. I know I'm big. Like, I, I know I'm big. I'm very well aware of my size. But that camera just, like, it just, I just look different. <laughs> I don't need your help making oh, myself shit. look big. <laughs> I look big already. You no, know, for us, I'm telling you, I saw the, this clip, and I thought to myself, Something needs to change ASAP. Like, is this how people... Pers- is this what I look like and I just don't see... You know how sometimes we have a skewed image of mm-hmm. what we look like and maybe I see myself skinnier <laughs> than I am. Oh, I'm no, you a skinny don't. mini. <laughs> no, you actually see yourself fatter than yeah. you are. Which I hate that. I hate when skinny people try to gentrify our fatness. I know. Like, <laughs> like oh my gosh, I'm so fat. Like, you and other... Stop. Oh my God. Stop. So other fat. Melissa, other. So, so. Are you kidding fat. me? Other Melissa has abs. And she she's still wearing fat. a crop top. She has an hourglass figure. We're talking about this Melissa. But... I'm not going to put her picture. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> I'll put it when I edit uh, the clip. But, I mean, I'm a size eight. I'm like yeah, you're still single digits. Mid. Fam. It's like on the cusp. Like A size eight? Is... Yeah, you're single digits. Yeah. Majority anyway, of these I'm girls, 20 sizes yeah. bigger than you, fam. Like, I'm just saying that the the video made me really take a step back. And then the comments. So no, the it thing was is, one comment. But but if someone saw but why, it. But why in a list of like a million things, like the one comment really hit you? Because. Because <laughs> that's the one she was looking for. That's, <laughs> that's she was oh, looking for the yeah. one. That's the one you're looking for. No, because I felt that way. When I saw it, I was like, oh, my God. What? <laughs> is this and i just want and to all of that i just want to say thank you Vinny, <laughs> because you can't really see my double chin <laughs> from this angle so everybody just know that Vinny sets this shit up and i look good like uh, yeah. in ours i look that's good. why i'm a saint i'm never Georgia was right i am never going back to another podcast well, the saint he is and the miracle he makes <laughs> <laughs> yeah i'm like i'm not i'm not going to another fucking podcast Unless without Vinny setting, up Vinny the setting up cameras <laughs> absolutely not so if we're gonna have on your podcast uh slightly higher little i'm kidding yeah like high like this like overhead anyway yeah i got bullied today is that where you were in the f today for fatty <laughs> for fuck you fuck you motherfucker fuck you do it as soon fuck you so yeah I got bullied today um, I couldn't remember when was the last time I got bullied and I just don't know if we're just very lucky or we just don't have enough fans <laughs> con todo both. respeto to the fans we have mm, yeah a little bit of both cause I'm sure like every one of our videos that have a shitload of views. Mm-hmm. Something about our side is always commented. Yours? Yeah. Really? 
Yeah, or the the gordos or whatever, like the fat boys or some shit. Like every single but one. But I like that. I'm in for but it. But it's I'm fine. It. It's the internet. It's not a real place. So I just have to. It hurts you because, again, you see yourself that way. But you're not you're that not. way, though. <laughs> like we are. <laughs> so, like, I'm like, yeah, oh, yeah. Like, I was your weight when I was 10. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's for real. Strap pretty much. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's like I'm new like, here. That's fat. You're not used to this. Okay. Welcome Just, to the club. Thank you. you. Get to eat what you want. I just had tacos before I got here. Mm. And it's crazy. I'm still losing weight, suckers. I'm feeling great right now. Yeah. And you did your 10,000 steps all weekend? Mm, un aplauso. I, it was actually like 17, but who's <laughs> counting, you know? I feel like we should keep it going. I didn't do my steps today. I definitely needed a day off today. Yeah, rest day. But yeah, tomorrow, especially the sun goes down later. I was actually thinking like, damn, like today I had a lot of time. So like before the shoes, I was like, huh, I could have gone to the gym. Oh, this is my first time leaving the house all day. Yeah, I was, I was with a coffee. It was all Your it's my morning, morning just started. This morning just started. <sighs> have you tried the tea I gave you? Yeah. I've just been, one time? No. You've been drinking I did it, it for a week. How'd you feel? Um, did it work? No. The, did you try two? Yeah, I did. It. I tried the two. So the first night I did it, I feel like it worked because I woke up, but I felt a little hungover. Okay. The second night, I don't know if it hit me or not, but I did sleep eight hours. But I do. I did need. Uh, I knew I needed more because it still took me like an hour, to hour and a half to fall asleep. When I did the two, I don't know if I did it right or not. So it, I didn't really feel it, but I did go through a whole week of it, and I did sleep for. Eight hours, pretty much. Every day? Every day. But although, well, seven, eight hours. That's good. But it's more than usual, for yes. sure. I didn't do it all weekend, though, because I was out. tired as fuck anyways. So yeah, I was out anyways. But yeah, uh, I might do it today. I don't know. But Should. I, I read that it helps your circadian. I, I remember the word circadian rhythm or something. I think that's what it's called. So you have an internal clock. And our clocks are thrown off where we're awake at night and, you know, like that's just our rhythm. It's hereditary or it's just what we're used to. So what that tea does, melatonin does, it knocks you back. So if you drink it for a week, two weeks, they say that by the third week, take some time off the tea and see if you fall asleep naturally mm. because it naturally helps <clears throat> your rhythm. And that's why you're sleeping your eight hours and you wake up and you feel okay. Not like hungover or tired because you're sleeping. I don't know. What week are you on? I'm on, well, last week was two. So you're off it this week? I'm off it this week. Like yesterday I went to bed and it was 12 and I put my phone down on my own and I knocked out, which is earlier than usual today. Obviously, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna have to drink it, cause I leave here the studio and I'm like on a high and I'm like awake. So I don't know if I'll You're be able to go. We're her drug. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna be able to go to sleep on my own. But for the rest of the week, I'm gonna try. They reached out to me. The teas. The teas. Oh. They reached out to me. I was like, can you please send me more? <laughs> <laughs> Even though I have a whole ass box here. Yeah, I mean it. I can see why it works and why it helps people. So, for me, I think I'm gonna be selective when I drink it. Mm. Like when I could afford it sleep a lot or whatever because the thing too is i the nighttime is my creative time and although i get it sleep is good for most people i feel like everyone's sleep schedule is different yeah like i don't think everyone requires the same eight hours either Mm. because i mean there's times too where i knock out at three four in the morning and then i'll wake up at nine or ten and i feel great i'm fine yeah i think it's just how like your type of sleep like mm-hmm. how quick you reach the the REM they say like that, because like yeah, there's times where like <clears throat> I fall asleep at eleven and I'll have a full dream and I think I slept my whole thing and it's only like two in the morning. I'm like, oh shit, I gotta go back to sleep. <laughs> like yeah, yeah, and it's not like I think I've been doing it for so long too. It's not like I'm not suffering from it. Like for people who suffer from all that and they feel like they need to make that change, cool. Like by all means, more power to you, but. I'm not suffering from lack of sleep. And then I'm you do get six hours, seven hours. Throughout the day, I'll get my eight hours. Yeah. Whether it's all straight up or it's increments throughout the day, but that's how I function and I'm yeah, good with that. Yeah, and you get to nap. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. There are, like, 
if I'm like, okay, if tonight I feel like I need a, I might have a full day tomorrow. I need my eight hours. Then I'll drink the tea. But if it's like a, I'll call it a throwaway day where I'm just going to like just <laughs> do shit, run errands and whatever, then I'm like, I'll just sleep whenever, when I sleep. Yeah. I just, I noticed like I couldn't function on three, four hours of sleep. Yeah. Like but you that. also have kids, so it's different too. Yeah. And I have to wake up at seven. So yeah. like I'll go to sleep at the same time he goes to sleep, which is three, four, and I have to be up by six fifty seven making mm-hmm. lunch doing this and then i don't go to sleep till the next day till 2 3 p a.m again i couldn't there's no way but it worked for me so hopefully we get endorsed by that tea very soon <laughs> and then i could put a link here <laughs> so it's monday this week is the first day of spring is it happening today tomorrow Aww, tuesday is the first day of spring really mm-hmm. Allergies are upon us. Oh, I've been. Oh, I got cracked last <laughs> week. I, I, I'm on this Claritin. Uh, it works for you. I I start taking it like so. I know like I knew I was gonna be out and about rolling loud. Yeah. Dust kicking up, so I started taking it Monday. So I don't wait till it hits me to take it because mm. it's too late. It's already hit you. Yeah. So I start taking it Monday, so it starts doing its thing. So by Friday, when I'm out there, it's just like I'm whatever. Really, I didn't think of that. Mm-hmm. I take it in the morning and preemptive strikes. By then, baby. it's too late. Yes, yeah, you gotta do your preemptive strikes. Like you should have been taking it. If tomorrow's the first day of spring, and you know you're gonna get messed up with allergies. You should have started taking it like at the latest or the yeah at the latest Wednesday. Fuck. So now you're gonna take it, go through it, and then you'll be fine by like next week really they were fucking me up all weekend the day i just been allergies and then you just i just feel like you're more susceptible susceptible to that stuff true yeah. everything's wrong with me i saw her get sick one time like in a one hour span <laughs> from normal to sick because the window was down where when we went to go eat once after work everyone went to the diner Oh, that's right. You saw, right? It yeah, was crazy. Like we were cool, normal talking. And then I remember we parked and we got lost in the convo. So like I put the window down and it was one of the cold nights. And then uh, Mario showed up and we started talking, but the window was down. And I saw her nose slowly getting red. And I'm like, <laughs> no way this is happening. And by the end of our convo, she's like, see, look, I'm sick now. <laughs> All proud. See? <laughs> It's true. I witnessed it for myself. I was like, oh, shit. So, uh, how was your weekend? Weekend! Round Round up! up. No, not yet. We'll get there, buddy. You're not. When do you think we're going to get there? I did it like last week. Episode 50. Episode 50? He's just going to be into it. We're we're peeling back those layers little by little. I did it last week. We didn't do a weekend round up last week. This boy, the, the boys are really tired today. They had a really long weekend. Mm-hmm. Um, Juju showed up to work today, and I'm happy he showed up, but I I didn't think you were. I was this close. If, if you would have told me Santa Rosa submitting his mix today, I would have been like, bet, have a great day at work, sweetie. I will be home. Even my dad's like, I'll wait for you. We can go eat right now. And then you told me that he's I get it, and I was like, no, I got to go for work, dad. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we had Rolling Loud this weekend, and well, I've been setting up for Rolling Loud for the last week. So since last Monday, we were at it, setting up, getting our stuff in. We had an, uh, another event Wednesday, and then Thursday it started, a day early, four days of festival. I So starting, when, no, starting Thursday, show up to work at 10, leave at 1 in the morning every day. And that paycheck's gonna be good. Yeah, I did seventy. I, what I tell you, I did seventy-two hours, and I think twenty-four of them are overtime, and six or seven of them are double time. God damn. Where are we going to eat? <laughs> Actually, that's my Mexico money. Que la chingada. How convenient. And yeah, I'm. Yeah, I did. Like we said, I did over eighteen thousand. No, sixteen thousand. And then, then Saturday I did eighteen, and then the rest were like seventeen each. So I did over. 69,000 steps, and I figured I'd do like about, I did the math. I was like, I'd do a yard, about a yard, three quarters of a yard per step because I have long strides. <laughs> so math-wise, I did about 35 miles in four days of walking. Back and forth. My awesome. feet were killing me. But I feel great now. Like, like I got here, like my calves and my shins are a little sore, but comfortable shoes, that's all you need. 
How was it for you? You went all four days also. I went all four days, but That's I wasn't working. Wild. Yeah, he went as a... That's wild Well, I'm a, I'm a fan of music and culture and festivals, and I love to see it all come to life. How long were you there? Um, So Thursday... Well, fuck, dude. So Thursday was a Kanye and Ty Dolla thing. They started on time, which I, I think guys. everyone was shook and confused because, I mean, I walked in right away because they like hooked me with the staff stuff. But I know the line to get in was horrible, but it was like 8.30-ish already. And they started at what, 8? 8.30. 8.30. So they, technically they were half an hour late, but they started at 8.30. Yeah, but everyone was kind of like in line chilling. I remember I heard cheering and I'm like, oh, there's probably a DJ starting up. And then by the time my brothers uh, and his friends showed up, it was already like almost 9. And then I remember I ran into, uh, I forgot, who I, I think it was like Fern or somebody. And I remember he was like, oh, yeah, it started half an hour ago. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> and then like we kind of rushed there. And then, you know, it was an album listening party. But we were only there for maybe like, I don't know, an hour or 45 minutes. But even then, the worst part was when I showed up, they already had a, were well within already performing, and they already did Last Call at 9. So it was just like, if, if Thursday, I wouldn't say it was a waste, it feel like a waste, but it was a lot for a little. Yeah. Like the no, parking, the walking. <laughs> it was just like unnecessary. Because it's, it's Thursday. People still had to go to work, and like the people that took time off, because Rolling Loud doesn't ha- only happens in California on the West Coast. Uh, they have Miami, New York. And I think that's it in, in the U.S. So people were coming from like Arizona, New Mexico, Nevada, up north. But since this was announced so last minute, it's like, no, I only have these days off. So like even then it was like hard. Like it was just crazy. And I get it, Kanye, but it would have performed. <laughs> like, What do you think happens to artists? that they reach a certain level and they think that this is I, I I want to think like do they lose in Spanish you say pierden piso do you know what I mean like at, at some moment you have to think or someone around you has to say hey these are your fans who are paying two hundred dollars during this ec- ec- economy because it wasn't even a part you know, of the actual three-day ticket. Like, you had to pay extra for that. Then these people usually take three days off for the festival. We just added another day. They're taking four days off. Like, at some point, or do you just not care? Or or also, like, do you say, this isn't good for my image, right? Like us, who we're, like, literally D-list, cele- D-list celebrities, if we can say that. E or F. <laughs> Maybe you, you're, you're D-list. F. Yeah, you might be D-list. You're the D-list. We're not there like, yet. They're still at G. But IG. you still kind of take a step back and think of your image, right? An, a little bit. You have fans. You have people who look at your social and you're like, yeah, I can't say that or I can't post that or I can't. Even at the little, the small spectrum we're in. So now my question is, do you think that he thinks about the fans? Because I heard people. I saw people. I was there. People were pissed. Yeah. But it's not just him. Madonna, Prince, Jay-Z. Beyonce, like, it's just like that. Uh, I'm, I'm Taylor Swift, Beyonce, JC. They've disappointed fans to a point where they haven't showed up to a concert or they did a listening. He party shows up, or like he's not. He hasn't not shown up when he said he is. And again, I get it. Like that he didn't perform, and yet that's something I would be mad about that too. But like, Madonna's getting literally. She's literally getting sued because she goes on. Her it says nine o'clock, and she doesn't go on until eleven or twelve. Yeah. Taylor Swift, I didn't say Taylor Swift because, like, she actually, like, yo, that shit, it said, it starts at this, and her opening acts went on at the exact same time, and she even has, like, a little count- countdown, so she can't be late because it starts counting down. It's like, yeah, she has to be there. And even that, I mean, and even that is still, like, 15, 20, but, like, Madonna, uh, when I want to go see Jay-Z, Beyonce, I think it started, like, an hour late. And, and that's okay because we count on that, right? Mm-hmm. We've been to, to this isn't yeah. about being I late. Think, I think they're more mad that he wasn't late. Yeah, no, this isn't even about being late. To me, it was more of the 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 show he gave. Yeah. It's fine. He wasn't late. We were late. Yeah. But it's I a didn't see too. him because I was late. Like, that's okay because, you know what I mean? Like, I should have planned according or everybody else. Yeah, but even, everybody. like, the experience for people to get in to the venue was horrific. Yeah. The parking sucked. And then people were stuck at Will Call. Like, 
When we showed up, that wood call line was insane. Although, granted, they did, you know, give you the 24 hours. Like, the day before, it was open for will call. But right. we're in L.A., and to get to get to Inglewood is not easy on a daily on basis. On a Thursday. You know? So, and, it was, and, and let's just keep all those things yeah. out, right? Because th- it's not Kanye's fault <laughs> that no. there's traffic in L.A., that you didn't fucking get your tickets before, that you were stuck at fucking high school picking up a fucking schedule that day. It's, not, it's none of mm-hmm. his business. I get mm-hmm. that. To me, it was the 30-minute performance you gave was not an actual yeah. show. What in why? Where does where I, in your head does but now, it I to play the devil's advocate, is that something that maybe the company oversold? Like what if Kanye's like, I never said I was gonna perform? I said we're playing vultures, like because you it, said I was gonna perform. Was, I never said I was. It gonna was perform. called the Vultures Experience, and I did see a snippet of their uh, of they had an interview, and they said that uh, us without the mics is still better than a lot of artists, which I get it. But for me, it's also why are you comparing yourself to other artists? You should be above that. Like you shouldn't swoop down to another artist level because you see them doing minimal effort so i'm gonna do minimal effort like that doesn't make sense to me right because people are paying to see you exactly. people are there to see you to experience Cause for me, like, and i showed up and i'm like their mask on is it even them up there right you know and now i'm skeptical for like 10 15 minutes until like they left to the tunnel came back and then now they take their mask off and it's them yeah but yeah no it was very like i was disappointed and if i paid i would have been hot like i was happy i'm like oh shit i get to see kanye and Ty Dolla, and, and I think the crowd made it more hype than it actually was. Like, they were singing and dancing to every song because it, it is a good album. Maybe it's just not our crowd anymore. No, even, I mean, the crowd was having a good time yeah. singing old Kanye music. Like, no, once yeah. they like, got they off the it. stage, they got off the stage, the the crowd was still singing and was still hanging out, so, bumping old Kanye. So, it's kind of like, if I wanted fault. that, I'll go to, if I want a crowd of people. Having a good time, drinking. I'm gonna go to the fucking club. <laughs> like I, I, again, I was there to I see think... you perform. I was there to see you give me the show. That's mm-hmm. why I'm paying you. But then we're idiots. Not us. We're but like, fam. To him, it was a success because people were acting like he was performing. And it's just like fam, and if anything, power to him. It's like, yeah, I don't have to go out there and do shit. And maybe I do send a body double out there, and they're still gonna pay me and do this. Like, mentos ustedes were doing it, cause they were. I I was like, yeah, I left, cause I was like, eh, I'm cool with it. And then, uh, but like, you look in the crowd, they're climbing the scaffolding, they're jumping around, singing, moshing, and it's just like, yeah, this guy got minimal effort, maximum pay, like. Yeah, but our perspective is different, though, because we're not only in the entertainment industry, but we've seen so many concerts and festivals on our own end. So it's like we see the business side of it or we see it a a different way. But for me, it was watching my like my youngest brother who was like looking forward to seeing Kanye perform. And he was trying to I could see in his eyes. He's trying to like balance out. Like, am I disappointed or am I happy to see Kanye? You know, and obviously the I'm happy to see Kanye outweighed the whole thing. But I know for me, if it was like this, this was my first time seeing Kanye and I saw that effort. I was I was disappointed. And I'm like, fuck, if I would have paid for this, I would have been hot. I would have traveled from somewhere yeah. other than yeah. like, it- especially knowing I'm going to spend the next three days doing Rolling Loud. Like I just sacrificed <clears throat> a whole Thursday night. Uh, I my it, one of my brothers called off work the next day in that to line, enjoy that Thursday night. Yeah, we paid. It was like seventy dollars for parking, then the wait to get in, like just for all that, and just for him to do thirty a, minutes to a, jump a listening it. party. It was like that's crazy. And 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 I think like clarity is key, right? So it's like if it was a listening party, then say that. And yeah. then whoever wants to show up to a list a Kanye listening party, ching on. We've been to many listening parties. Yeah. Yeah. But even at listening parties, the artist performs. Sometimes. Well, the ones I've been to, they perform. Uh, any any of the Kanye ones I've been to, that he doesn't perform. But yeah. I mean, I, again, uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm just defending because I'm a Kanye fan, but... No, I'm a no, Kanye I'm fan, a Kanye too. Fan no, but too. it's just like... But I, again, like, I... I just don't want to say too much because 
this gets into the wrong ears, but it's just like, hey, like, what did you? I'm sure what he did knows. You, everyone's what did you disappointed. offer? And what did you say was going to be done? Mm-hmm. Like, is it one of those like you know promoters always promote? Oh yeah, this person's going to be. Then you go there, they show up for. <laughs> Actually, it's happened. It's happened. I'm not going to say who, but it was. They're going to figure it out who when I say the artist. Fifty Cent was supposed to perform. He was supposed to go up there perform for someone's birthday. And, oh, yeah, he's going to perform, and I got you guys bottles. You just got to promote it for me. Ba, 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 ba. 50 Cent showed up, walked up straight to the area where no one could see him, hung out for like 10 minutes, came down to perform, grabs the mic, hands it back, and just walks out. And it's just like, hey, what are you, what did you think you buy? Or like, hey, maybe, and maybe 50 hustled, maybe Kanye hustled them. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. And you you get lost in translation, but it's just like. But it's and still then, a festival, though. Yeah, right? and, but, but you, you still showed but up. You, but you're also showing up for Kanye. You got to understand who you're showing up for. And that's my other point. What happens to an artist when they reach a certain level, right? Remember, they were talking about Lauren Hill, and they were like, she's always late. Mm-hmm. Like, that becomes a part of their identity. Like, oh, she shows up or she doesn't show up. And it's like, what happens to the artist when they get to a certain level that they stop giving a fuck about their fans? Because ultimately, yeah, maybe Rolling Loud didn't pay for a full Kanye performance, but you accepted that check. You knew that your fans were going to be there. You knew that people were going to be there waiting for you to perform for them. You're at a festival. What? And what happens... That it makes you think that that's okay, Lauren because Hill. You get away what with happens? It. It's that toxicity. It's like it's like a, you know what a, I mean? It's like a relationship. It's like a relationship of if if a, if your girl or your man cheats on you and you take him back, they know in their head I could do this shit again, and you're still gonna come back to me. Yeah. Kanye could show up, stand there, not even dance. At least he was dancing. Just stand there, and then the fans are going crazy. He's like, "Yeah, I'm gonna do this again." Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's, it really is the fans' fault too, though. Because like I said, my brother was outweighing the fact that I'm seeing Kanye over the fact that he had a mask on performing for half an hour. Yeah. You know, and it's just, and it's even the same thing with his clothing line. Like half the time, like before, like now he obviously he's selling stuff for 20 bucks. But before when he was doing his designer shit, a lot of it was just plain clothing. Yeah. For $200, $500. One of them was an Ikea bag. And people were buying them <laughs> because it's just, that's just the fan base. And that's the consumer culture. That's yeah. and that's just for every big thing. Yeah. If you're mad about something, don't do it, and they will change their perspective on that. Yeah. If you don't want to pay two thousand, twenty thousand dollars for Taylor Swift tickets, don't do it. And I bet you her prices will go down. Mm-hmm. If you want Kanye to perform, stop going to these stupid performances, and I bet you he'll start performing again. Yeah. You got to make them feel it. But if you keep buying into everything, even though, like, dude. The fact that though before he went to those before those shirts were twenty dollars, he was signing for two hundred. Yeah, and, and they sold out. People are, but now that they're twenty, I could buy them right now. They're not sold out. It's it's that hype beast culture. Yeah, you buy into it, and it's just that's, that's why people get away with it like that. And not just them, like again, Madonna, she sells out arenas, stadiums, and every time she's two hours late, and now you're still like fam, like she's like y'all gonna be there anyways, right? It's so it's the, our fault. The consumerism. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I mean, that was day one. <laughs> <laughs> but I think even yeah. like... And day two, they also canceled. Who? All all the, the, oh, no, all that... the, well, this was before, but like Junior Acha wasn't there. Oh, Not yeah. That wasn't there. Yeah. And then day three, Saturday, Fuerza canceled last minute. And I was there with my botas. I had my sombrero. I had to go buy this hat because I, I, looked, I felt like an idiot wearing a sombrero. <laughs> For someone that wasn't going to show up I for felt, OGZ. <laughs> I felt so bad being in, like, I was in a crowd and I saw so many, including my brother, in Mexico jerseys or with Mexico flags. I was in the restroom and I overheard somebody asking, like, I guess he hadn't heard the news or he was too drunk already. I was like, hey, fool, like, when's, when's the force I going to get on? Like, I don't know who this fool is. And it was OGZ performing. <laughs> I was like, this is. They had their best pro shop hats. Um. One of my friends, she only wanted to go see Puerto Rico. She was even asking about bottle service. Which bottle service at Rolling Loud, the Loud Club, it's three thousand just to get in to order the bottle. So three thousand just to get up there, and you still have to pay for the bottle service. Overall, it costs like about ten to fifteen thousand at the cheapest. 
and yeah. like oh yeah yeah and i was like she asked like, you got the hookups i was like nope <laughs> Can't even but get like and then yeah then like on santa rosa you oh, turned yeah she, yeah santa rosa he, everyone jay was gonna go but mess. they said that it was a family emergency. Yeah. So in that case, you know, shit happens. We all have it. But it just, it's such a disappointment for fans and it leaves a bitter taste. It doesn't know? matter what it is. And again, it's unfortunate that it was a family emergency. But like at the same time, it's like, fam, now my family's an emergency because I spent money I didn't have on this ticket to see you. I mean, I guess it goes both ways, man. Again. Yeah. But things, like, you're right. Things happen. Like, we wouldn't be saying this if something really bad would have happened. Mm-hmm. You wouldn't be complaining like that. Right. But because it's like, when you hear family emergency, like, I guess, like... I think my family emergency. Yeah, everyone's used those excuses before. So, like, oh, yeah, I yeah, just family right. emergency. No, just the timing, <laughs> and, too, with, like, all the cancellations. Or and like, it didn't help that the day before, well, Friday, he posted that he was going to be there, but he was, like, on a beach somewhere. Yeah, it's and I was like... like mm. Well, 10 minutes before the actual work canceling post, he posted a whole, like... Harley Quinn hype video and stuff. So somewhere in those ten minutes, something, something happened. I don't happened. know. Man. And I hope something's right. Like you, yeah. I hope. I hope it was just an excuse, and your family's fine. Like, yeah, because I I would hate for your family something like. And if something is with our family, I, prayers, you know, hope yeah, it turns out good. But for me though, the the I I still had a blast at the festival. I forgot how much I love hip hop and how much I love yeah. like being around it. Like that part, it was refreshing for me because. I mean, people forget, like, I started off with Power 06. I started off doing hip-hop parties and all that. You know, I kind of, like, the whole reggaeton thing, I kind of, I don't want to say I got dragged into it, but when Power did by Cali, like, there was really nobody on the street team that knew Spanish or knew how to play the music. So I kind of just, like, oh, I volunteered, and then here I am now doing all reggaeton. But after these past couple years doing everything reggaeton, going back to Rolling Loud was kind of a refresher for me of, Holy shit, this is a whole world of music that I forgot about. Yeah. I got to see Bryson Tiller, Post Malone. I think killed it. I know you don't think he, I think he No no he uh, he did good, but was, it, to me that was a performance of the of the of the weekend. It was Post good, Malone. but for it for Rolling Loud to end with Post Malone was like you know. Who would you rather they end with? Uh on that day, I don't know. I can't even think off the top of my head right now because I'm still on that future high because future was like uh, future was great, great music. I just think I just wasn't there for the performance. Like he did 36 songs after seeing Taylor Swift perform. <laughs> future did 30. He went through 36 songs, and he brought out Travis Scott, which was like yeah. Sometimes and sometimes it is tough for like hip hoppers to have this showmanship because it is your song's not a dance song like that. It's like. And Future's known as this, like, laid-back, mellow, like, you know, sensational. like yeah, Gucci flip-flops. Yeah, so, like, you don't... I, I wasn't expecting to be dancing around, but, like, I don't know. I just... You just expect more. It was hype trap music. I had a blast But, with yeah, that, music but... was great. And honestly, uh, I, I watched Big Sean, and I forgot how many hits he had. Yeah. Big Sean took me back to, what was it, 2018, 2017, when he was king, and... That was, I think that's where I got nostalgic. Because mm. Big Sean, like, he did all these old hits. And even he was saying, like, he uh, he hadn't performed in a long time either. And he he had a good time. So, well, Saturday was more nostalgic, actually. Yeah. Because it was YG, Big Sean and then Post Malone, too. And then, YG Tyga, too, when, on Friday. Yeah, YG and Tyga. And they did a whole versus thing. And which, even Bryson Tiller. Damn, I want to go see Bryson Tiller. I was like, man. I got into my feelings. I was like, oh, shit. I forgot, like. Don't play with the don't we this hot. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> don't yeah. And I was just like, man. And then Nicki Minaj, uh, I I did hear a lot of people didn't like it. Nicki Minaj, I, I like Nicki Minaj. I love Nicki Minaj. Like the beginning was iffy, uh, only because she did her like her current album, which most people don't know the songs, and she also treated it like it was her concert. Cause she did like three outfit changes in between. Yeah, I heard that trim really? knock off. It was like yeah. three like intermissions, but so like, there's nothing. The going intermissions on. were like five minutes long, maybe, and you know, in the festival, it's fucking forever. All right. Like she'll do a song, and then it'll just like the lights will go on, and you'll just hear background music, and you're like, oh, she's doing the outfit change. She, she did like three times. Really? Cause she went so, through her eras, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not saying <laughs> someone's a trendsetter, but. <laughs> You're dumb. <laughs> I would have liked to see Mickey Minaj, but after Thursday, I just, I couldn't go back. 
And the crowd was a little too crazy. Again, it was like travesuras all over again. I, I was trying to keep up with the young crowd. Yeah. I was tired. I saw some of your videos of Vinny's, and I was, I was just mud. like, I'm not interested. And that was VIP. Imagine yeah, that was VIP. Like the, the GA stuff? Absolutely not. Um, well, the first day I was in GA for the most part, and yeah, that shit was... That shit was ratchet. It's a lot. God damn. It's a lot. There was a lot of... I took Isaac... <laughs> My 13-year-old, which was my first mistake. Please don't judge me. Don't judge me. Stop there. I know what you're doing. You mean, Isaac, your 16-year-old? Sure. Don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Don't. Stop. 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 Um, and it was such an experience on Thursday that I decided we're not coming back. This is not. Well, he's coming back. No, no hold on. Why was it an experience, Melissa? <laughs> Why Why was Thursday such an experience? I mean, you should have late. Well, let me set the table for you. So, first off, let me tell you, I work. Okay, I work in Burbank. We all do. You didn't work that day, did you? Yeah. You worked on Thursday? Yeah. Oh. Remember, I we were showing off our wristbands to each other? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I work in Burbank. And I had to do my show... And I left the show at four. Yeah. About four. If you want to get to. Where's SoFi? Inglewood? Inglewood. Inglewood. If you want to get to Inglewood at seven o'clock, because if the show is at eight, you should be there. Give yourself enough wiggle room to park, to go through traffic. So more around how many hours do you think, we're playing a game, guys, do you think I should give myself to A, get to Inglewood, and to be able to walk into this fucking festival? Minimal two hours. Yeah. So at what time do you guys think I should have been there at Inglewood? Six, seven? Six thirty-seven, the latest. The latest. To make it at a decent time to watch the performance. I left work at four, only to show up home at... 5 30 because it takes me an hour and a half to get home from burbank in traffic to remember that my son had to pick up his schedule for high school and it wasn't just pick up the schedule you had to sit with the counselor and you know write down like his electives and what he likes to do and whatever so the boys are texting me they're already there and we're texting back and forth like, hey, did it start yet? I'm on my way. It was 8.20 when I walked out of the house. What time did Kanye start? 8.30. 8.30. 8.30. It was 8.20 when I walked out of the house. And I got there at, I got there at 7.30, but I wasn't in till 9. That is fucking crazy. That's wild. Mm-hmm. Crazy. So... I get there, we're halfway, the boys send a video and say, he's already performing. And I look at my 16-year-old son and I said, do you still want to go? And he said, he looked at me in the eyes and said, mommy, can you please try? As a parent, what the fuck am I supposed to do? I even leave alone a parent. If Vinny looks me in the eyes and says, good night. <laughs> <laughs> If Vinny looks me in the eyes about something and says, Melissa, please try. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to fucking try. I'm going to try because you're asking me to and I know this is important to you. So I keep fucking, I get there. I park. I should have known that when the guy went like this to park and I didn't have to pay for parking, I should have known that that was something. However, I didn't. I jumped out of the car and I said, run. Run. We ran from where we parked all the way to the entrance of the sofa. And if you know the sofa is enorme, grandissimo. O sea, it's a fucking zoológico there, okay? We ran all the way around. They're like, oh, no, entrance is over there. Keep going. You go around. I run all the way around. We finally make it. We go through the tickets. They scan you. Then we have to go through another thing, uh, the metal detectors. Uh, we get there, and they're like, do, does he have an ID? I was like, he's my son. He doesn't have an ID. Can you please just let us through? They let us through. We run. We see Juju Juju's like where the aliens are, and we're running. I literally think I ran like about three miles, okay? I'm running. Just Da, 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 da. We get to where Juju is. He's like, it's that way. Ah, we keep running. We keep running. We get to the stage. All there is is a lot of weed. <laughs> a 
a lot of weed smoking. It's called Rolling Loud. I I know. And we'll get to that part. We'll, we'll get to that oh. part. Uh, but I mean like a lot. Okay, like a lot. <laughs> and an empty stage. And then I heard my son's heartbreak. However, we tried, right? We go back. We sit there for a little while because we ran a lot. We jumped out of the car and started running. I'm sitting there with Juju. We're talking. We're hanging out. The boys are wrapping everything up. People start walking out. I should have left at that moment, but now I know why I didn't leave because the Lord was watching over me because mm. he knew. Lord, the Lord always has my back. I, I said to myself, wow, I should really leave before everyone starts leaving and then I get traffic, but I didn't. Something kept me sitting there <laughs> hanging out. Do you know me to hang out? Never. I stood there and I That's just, true. I was surprised to see you still there. I was hanging out. My son just hanging out. And Juju says, we're leaving. Would you like a ride to your car? And I say, yeah. So we start walking out. That was like about an hour, right? To mm -hmm. walk out. We're walking out. And he goes, where's your car? So I this did. is why I was a nice guy. I, Because when she said she had bought parking, she's like, I bought parking for the forum. So I'm thinking, oh, you're yeah. on the opposite in the forum. We go all that way anyways. I'll give you a ride to your car. Right? At least to the corner, you just walk to your car from there. Wasn't at the forum? No. No. Wasn't at the forum. So you don't know where you parked? No. Mm. So we're at walking so out. At SoFi. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Cars are going crazy. And I'm like, all right, cool. Uh, don't worry about it. We're gonna, we're gonna fucking inspect your gadget. This thing, you know, like we're gonna get to the bottom of this. Tell me the landmarks you saw. <laughs> mm. I don't. She know. said, I saw Target in the forum. I was like, that's impossible, because they're on the opposite end of each other. You did not see them both at the same time. Target. And he goes, what was the street called? And I was like, I don't know. Did you see a Costco? No. Did God. you see? And then, uh. Isaac was like, oh, we, we saw the Hawaiian barbecue place. Oh, I bet. I know where that's at. Hawaiian barbecue. So you saw Target, Hawaiian barbecue. There's a Costco. Did you see a lake? She's like, there's a fucking lake? No, yeah, I didn't right see the front. lake. Right in front. So we're walking. I was like, fuck it. We're just going to walk. And <clears throat> Brian also had offered a ride to someone else. <laughs> so we're all walking. And then we see like a map of like the, oh, the, the parking section. She's like, let me just look at this real quick. <laughs> and she's looking at like I told Brian just go ahead start getting the car started we'll be there in a little bit she's looking she's looking and I'm like there's no way he knew what the map said and then she and then because then she's like oh we we walked al along the stadium I was like alright bet so you guys walked along the stadium so you probably and because we were at the end of the stadium YouTube theater area yeah the south so point. I was like okay so you guys probably parked her here in this orange lot and she's like yeah <laughs> and I'm walking and, and then I was just like and she's just looking 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 so what I tried to do put a pin on that what I tried to do was take steps backwards. So he sent us where the entrance was, right? So I know what I ran and how I ran. Because I ran and then I made a right and then they made me go around. So I thought, okay, if we're here and I go around and then I make a quick left, I'll find it. And he kept telling me about these landmarks and, and I didn't see anything. I was so focused and like tunnel vision of getting there and trying to find parking. And how I was going to finesse parking because I had already paid for parking that I didn't look in my surroundings. So that was an hour to get out, to get to the car, to walk. Wait, you did that for an hour? To Yes, an hour to walk to the car because it took an hour to get to walk to the car. More or less? Yeah. Yeah. Then we got in the car and it took us... About like, 30, 40 yeah. minutes. This traffic was just crazy. So the staff parking, which, so far, we need to talk. <laughs> they just let people go into the, so, into the staff parking at the end. Yeah, I was parking at staff parking. Yeah, so I'm like. All weekend. Like, I was just like, this is like. Ridiculous. Yeah. And so, we were there for four. So I spent two hours looking at the map, trying to <laughs> go back. And I swear to God, I thought, we're going to be here all night. Because the sofa is so big, you guys. And they're not letting you roam around. Like, they're sending you through exits. And you gotta exit. There's yeah. no way. There's fucking traffic. I thought, this is gonna be the longest night of our life. And not to mention that there was a cute little couple in the backseat. 
<laughs> with some guy I guess she's dating, and she's she's like, they're gonna take me home. <laughs> and I was like, what? I told Brian, I was like, he said, oh yeah, we just live ten minutes away. I was like, what? And I couldn't get mad. Cause he offered I, me, so now poor homegirl in the back is thinking she's gonna get dropped off and say she's up for a rude awakening. Cause we're gonna go in circles to find where the fuck I parked, and by the grace of God, because God's got me all the time. What about me, God? What about me? <laughs> no, well, you're taking. You too. You're taking no, his Juju, credit. No, no, no. Juju did really good, but God. He's was, God in this situation. No, because. We were going to just roam, but Juju's like, no, we're going to figure it out. We're going to get there. Sorry. And then he pull, he put the windows up and pulled. He goes, do you think it's here? And I said, yes, I think it's there. <laughs> <laughs> so he puts the windows up and then he goes, hey, I got to drop some stuff off on that side. And they're like, no, 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 no. You got to. You got to keep going. You got to park out. And he goes, no, I need to drop off some stuff on that side. Why he said that? Cause he thought, works. cause we thought that I was parked there. He par- he goes that way, and then I said, "Drop me off here. I'm gonna run that way." <laughs> I'm telling you, that was the Lord. It was the Lord. Cause how how long did we look for my car? Not even. Yeah, it was quick. It was quick. Fast runner. Quick. No, what I want to. Were you running like this? Like just like pressing the button? Yes. Yes. I get off of the Suburban, and I start fucking running. I get, Listen, Jim Gurley, full, blown, at Rolling Loud. I start running like I've never ran before. I'm not even, like, tired. <laughs> I'm just running, and I'm like this with my... And I remember getting to a point, and I said, I don't remember those palm trees. I should go back. And the Lord was like, keep running. And I kept running a little bit more, and my car was right there, by itself, no other cars around it. I found it. <laughs> Where was it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> right next to the fucking Target and the Hawaiian barbecue that her son saw. And I do got to point out, you got to give your son credit because he was telling you, no, mom, we're right here. And you're like, you were like ignoring him. Yeah. So you owe him an apology. Yeah. And maybe another trip to Rolling Loud. I don't know. I'll let you figure that out. But yeah. And then <laughs> we're like, she's like, I found it. Cool. Send me the address to Corey's house, and I will pick up my son there. And we're like, okay. But then we saw her well, like. Because I thought that you guys had. So we separated. Okay. This is a suburban. I got off and I ran a good. How much did I run? It was probably like 100 yards. I, more. I ran a good this way where they were pulling them to go that way. Traffic was crazy. I didn't mm-hmm. think that he was going to be able to come back to drop my son off to, you know, I said, well, fuck, you keep going straight. I'll come through this way and we'll meet at homegirl's house because I wasn't going to have him turn. There's no way. But somehow Juju managed to turn the fucking suburban around and get in line. And then my kid comes running. <laughs> He also jumped off of the Suburban and just started running the same fucking path I ran. More of the story is... So you ignored your son and Juju helped you out. Yes. <laughs> Long story short, yeah. But the Lord took all the credit. The Lord. That's crazy. <laughs> I'm no, sorry. Yeah, no, good job, Juju. Thank you. Thank no, you. No, we could have been there longer. I'll tell you that. We could have been there for way longer. And thanks to God and Juju <laughs> offerings... <laughs> Juju offering to help me, regardless so, of I'm, the amount I'm a child of time. Of the Lord and He works through me. Yes, mm. and my son talking about the Hawaiian because he saw it, and I'm like, no, I didn't see it. I didn't see it. <laughs> he saw it. So anyway, after that, I didn't fucking go anymore. Anyway, how do we get to? This? I'm tired of just having this fucking conversation. I'm sorry that you had to sit through that. You kind of did it to yourself. By not like if looking? you're like at a big venue, like automatically, like boom, take a I picture know, of know, you know. But I know, I don't understand how people don't remember where they parked. Like I get not the exact spot, but if you don't know like the general area of where you parked, I'm sorry, and I say this with a lot of love, and I'm giving you grace because you were trying to do it for your son, and this is to everybody. You guys are idiots, <laughs> idiots. <laughs> Do you want to hear? Did I tell you about uh, Jay's mom and his uncle, his tia? No. 
So for Los Bukis, which was also at the SoFi, which was the same situation, walking in was a fucking shit show, you know, just the same thing, same story, different day. Um, it was probably like three in the morning and his mom called him and said, they stole my car. Like, I can't find the car. They stole it here at the SoFi. So Jay leaves his house in Long Beach, goes back to SoFi no. after the concert at three in the morning, about. <laughs> gets there the cops are there everyone they're like fuck they stole my car blah 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 it turns out she was just lost (laughs) and forgot where she parked i kid you not that was replaying in my head i was like we're up for a fucking long ass night we're we're, juju's gonna you know poor homegirl in the bag really thinks she's gonna go (laughs) and then with the traffic it took forever to get her 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 10 minute drive home was more like 30 40 minutes we didn't get back to like one in the morning to the state to the station again. Fuck, and I feel so bad for Juju because I remember too Thursday, I was chilling there on stage, and Juju's like, "Up, oh, I'm gonna leave because I've been here since whatever time. I've been here since yesterday. I'm over this place. Like, I'm gonna leave right now." I'm like, "All right, cool, bro. Have a good one." I thought he was. Right, I wrong. saw him the next day, and I thought Try he was again. rested, and he looked so. <laughs> he was aggravated a little bit. Thank yeah. you, Juju. I he was like, "I had a you. night." I'm like, "What do you Melissa. mean, bro?" <laughs> I love you, Juju. But you know what? That Rolling Loud being there, it's just, it's a headache. So they, just, Fi, they just had to figure it out. But SoFi has been dealing with this for how many years? Like since since literally the, the day they launched? Because even football games are a nightmare to leave. You know or, what it is? I think too, it's 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 the whole contracting. Like that. It, it, so the security that's there, like the Yellow Jackets, and they're not, they don't work there. They're contracted to work they there. They suck. They're contracted to work there. You like, ask them something, they don't, they don't know. Yeah, know. or like they don't care. And it's just like, yo, and, I, and like in order to be a good venue, you need a dedicated staff that knows the venue. Yeah. So like there's times where it's like, all right, go this way. And then like a minute later, no, 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 go this way. And it's just like, fam, make up your mind. Yeah. And it's just like, and there's so many more exit routes that they could be using. I don't know why. Like even that straightaway that I that I had to finesse my way through, if you go there... You exit through the through the Sinopolis exit, like the, that little mall area, empty. No one was going through there. It's like, fam, like, why not? Like, it's very one way in, one way out type vibe. And even the like, I get one entrance, but once it lets out, you should open up the emergency exits and let everyone out to the streets and just let them disperse. Because even like the end of the nights when the people, are, everyone's trying to go through one spot. And I told, uh, I was telling him early before while we were setting up, I was like, one loud bang or one something that happens it's a wrap because it is a corridor of oh, it was after the Nicki minaj set i wish i recorded my view but after Nicki minaj set and i and granted the last song we were already like walking out from vip right it got so congested just to leave the main walkway that it was stuck like i felt almost claustrophobic the amount of people and it was only one exit right and it was like I turned around and I'm like, hold, like nobody's leaving in the next 20 minutes. It took yeah. me 20 minutes just to go from the main stage just to the walkway to get to where like. And I don't know at. if that's rolling loud so far or both, but like they just need to figure that out. Yeah, it was just a one way in one. A couple way more out. festivals happening this year there, so. I've never been to SoFi and had a great experience. Yeah, it's same. always a shit show. It's yeah. always. Top three uh, venues here in L.A. I'm going to have to say, coming in at number one, Forum. Forum, eh, especially if there's nothing else happening around town, although it's the same place, kind of, Inglewood, whatever, you walk into the Forum, you know where you're going, it's not like a shit show, you know, ah, 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 here, and even when you and sit... And why? Because they have their dedicated Forum staff. And when That's you true. sit there up there with Diosito, you're still okay, you know, you're sitting here, you're... You have a good time. Mm-hmm. Um, number two, the crypto, which is the Staples Center. I like the Staples Center. Maybe it's because I know it and it's not that big either. But every time I've been to the SoFi, it, hasn't, it has not treated me well. Yeah. I'm good off that, love. SoFi, I love you. Because um, you've been there how many times? Two, three, four. I've been there. I saw Bad Bunny there. I've been to football games there. My... That's my second Rolling Loud there. Um, yeah, I mean, I, and it, it, yeah, it's just like again, I think it has to more to do with the staff. Like again, it, it's a big, huge, it's a huge venue. venue. 
98,000 seats, so you're going to be walking a lot. Yeah. But like there's But there's it's not even be... the walking. It's the it, it's the coming in, coming out. And it's the lack what of it's when the you're lack of caring. At a concert, even you like... have to walk through the stair. I oh, mean, yeah. well, not through. even that. Like if you have a like you can't come in here because your entrance says that section, so you have to go through there and it's just yeah. like I think like a lot of a lot of stadiums do that too, but now like now I don't know why they haven't caught up on that trend of like just going anywhere. Cause like Dodger Stadium used to be like that. Yeah. Dodger Stadium, if you had reserve and you try to go in through the field, you're well. Yeah, you have to walk all the way up. Where now it's like okay, Dodger Stadium, like you can do laps around Dodger Stadium, so let you go in wherever now. I don't know why SoFi doesn't do that. Like yeah, it has its VIP entrances, and that makes sense for the VIPs because yeah. like, but like it for and that's what it's built for. I think that's what more but, now the new stadiums now they're built for the VIPs, not for the general public. Because the VIP there's like. Eight VIP entrances, and you can go through any of them and get to where you need to go to. They even have a car entrance. Like we went, I we we did a walk through the SoFi. There's dedicated tunnels that you could take a car all the way up to the door of your suite. And it's like so that it's it's built for the more extravagant lifestyles. If you have money and you're spending money to be there, you're gonna have a good time. If you're not and you have to do like walking, like yeah, it's just crazy. And the, the parking's expensive. The parking attendants don't care. The staff doesn't seem like they don't care. Like there, was, I gotta correct myself. Shout out! There is one guy that stood uh, by our our area the whole time. That guy, I even uh, we told him to, we're trying to get him a job with the the security guards that do the Pico station. He, dude, he would like stand there, not letting people go through. He oh, walk around. To the left, yeah, right? he, yeah, oh, he'd no, walk he around clean yeah. the tables. And he's like, look, if if it looks like a mess, people are trying to be more mess. So if I keep it clean, it it's less work on me. And like at the end of the night, he like he was helping us control traffic because so they wouldn't go through and go through our stuff and stuff like that. So he did an amazing job. So there's people that care, but the, it's the people that don't care. Like, and it seems like the people that don't care are the ones in charge. Yeah. Because even like the, the street vendors were going in, like they were they were let in. Like fam, how do you like no? So yeah, so if I I think they just need their own dedicated staff. I think I don't know who owns it. Stan Kroenke, the AEG. No idea. The owner of the Rams owns it, and he just needs. Dude, you need to hire your like your staff for that. Por favor, mm, coming top venues from us here in LA. Top three venues, I think Coliseum SoFi. I mean Coliseum uh, BMO Stadium, because you could get there through transport. Parking sucks there, but if you're taking the train there, it stops right there. And you just walk. So if you're commuting there, it's perfect. Uh, the Forum. And crypto too. Crypto is like the same thing. It's like you could get there through, and there's way better parking there. Absolutely. And closer. Like you just park there, you can walk across the street, and you're there. Yep. So, um, I think with the hopefully with like uh, the opening of the Intuit Dome, it should get maybe it gets a little better, but we'll see. Top three venues. Um, I love the Forum. Uh, I love crypto, and I love BMO. And I think it's because just ease of access. Yeah. Going wherever like they you get go it. in. Because and... Coliseum, I would put up there, but it's so dated. And that one, the walking sucks and all the seats, most of the seats are like cement. That's true. Like it's very dated. And you have to walk to that tunnel and then go yeah, all the way up. Like, uh, Rose Bowl's like that too. Yeah. And Rose Bowl, what sucks about Rose Bowl is that traffic sucks. I, I used to like to go to USC, UCLA games a lot, but if it's at UCLA... At the Rose Bowl, I'm not going just because you got to go through the golf course. And usually it's the fall, so if, if <clears throat> everything's wet. Usually it's wet, you know, so it's all muddy. And then to leave, I, I think my, my last time there was Mexico, Jamaica, when Mexico played Jamaica. And it the, the Ubers were so terrible and the buses were so stacked that me and my brother walked from Rose Bowl to Old Town Pasadena. <sighs> We walked because we couldn't get a ride. That's how horrible it was. And I told myself, I'm never coming back here. Do you think that we're just getting old? Like, after listening to us, right? No, this is a... Walking, we're talking. No, no I mean, I've now. I've my whole life. <laughs> now, now, like, do you feel like we just don't have... I remember going to EDC, right? And then they changed EDC to Vegas. And you have to literally take, like, a train, right, to get... It's a shuttle or you drive? Like a shuttle. So yeah. it's like people go through this. You I know, did, whatever we're complaining no, about, like even like these games and stuff, like people go to uh, Dodger games to me, all the time. Yeah, to me, LA is more about 
they need to do a better job at the for like the older stadiums. They need to do a better job at um, tr- um, like transit access. Like Dodger Stadium has no Dodger Stadium. Fun fact: Tatos Curiosos is the only <laughs> stadium that doesn't have a subway. It's the only baseball stadium that doesn't have a subway connected to it. Like you have to take a car there, or you take that the fucking the metro the shuttle. Metro, and that yeah. shit's trash. But like, but that's what I'm saying, and people still go. It, it, season holder, yeah, pass but we've holders. hated it the whole time. It's just now we have a platform to say it. But I've always hated the park. Yeah, but the, we love we love the Dodgers. It's just the parking sucks. Oh, and man. like, but and even then, like I learned, like if I go to a UCLA game or like when we used to do Fourth of July UCLA, we plan, we schedule to not leave until two three hours after the show, because we want everyone to die down. Yeah, like, so if you have to, if you're in a hurry, then go ahead and leave. But like even. Uh, we want like I want to leave early the uh, day one of of uh, Rolling Loud, and then I just saw like people were trying to go through and the crowd and we're just like let's just sit here and then the rest of the weekend we waited until the crowd died out. Exactly. So what if I did. it's over at ten, we waited till like eleven thirty, eleven forty, almost midnight to leave because we just want to deal with that. Yeah, because I don't even think it's that because obviously like I still spend an entire weekend going to Rolling Loud. Being out in the crowd with people and doing all this walking and Ugh. like I still I still live for that stuff and even like with with the with with the Raiders in Las Vegas like their 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 stadium it's also a one way in one way out thing so everyone's kind of prepared to walk but I'm okay with it because you could kind of exit wherever and you know you're just gonna walk over the bridge and you're on a strip and from there you figure it out like that's fine with me but to get in isn't a headache. That's yeah. like that's the only thing, or to get out isn't a headache. Like, there's like, a way to do it. I think so far, I just got again the not the the staff they hired got lazy and they're like, no, we're just gonna do it one way in, one way out, and fuck everyone else. And it's just like, nah, dog, you gotta make it. And again, like, I'm surprised and thank God that nothing happened. Like, it could have been really bad. Like, people got if someone got spooked, they started running. People drunk like that, like they would have got trampled, and people yeah. legit would have died. And you—that's the thing you had to avoid the most. Like even even Dodger Stadium, yeah, traffic is bad, but when you're walking to your car, you go from anywhere, right? Mm-hmm. But and yeah, yeah, it is a bottleneck. But at least you're in a car; it's a little safer. But like, if you just have a bottleneck of people like going out like that, dangerous. Super. Yeah. I'm talking like there's what ninety thousand people leaving at once. That was crazy. You had to open it up. And it thank was a lot. God I found my car. Yeah. Could have been there all some, night. Some might thank you too, but. Or the Lord. Thank you, God. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. No. Oh, yeah. Uh, really quick. I want to. Well, my phone died, so I can't really show you guys the picture. But um, today I scared Mateo because <laughs> I yelled really bad at him. Like, I yelled, like, Mateo! Like, but the worst thing that can possibly happen happened today. Today was Mateo's first little league game. Right. Mm, yeah. And uh, he came to me and said, Mommy, I need to go to the restroom. So I took him. My husband was helping coach the kids. So he usually takes them to the restroom. But I had to take him today. And I go in the girls restroom is occupied. So I said, that's fine. We'll go in the boys restroom. So I walk in. I open the door. He walks in and there's a, u- a urinal there. Mateo slips. <laughs> Uh-huh. Uh-huh. He slips as he's walking in with his little cleats and puts his hand <laughs> Go on. <laughs> he goes, "Ah!" Bleep. And holds on to the inside of the urinal to not fall. <laughs> Did he splash? And his little hands are inside the urinal. Is that when you yelled at him? And I said, ah, And I picked him up and he goes, no, oh. no, no. And he's looking at me about to like in tears. And I'm like, I'm sorry, son. I'm sorry. Hold on. Mommy, mommy, I have to pee. I'm like, no, wait. And I put his sleeves up and I grab a whole bunch of soap and I wash his little hands. And then I look over to the urinal, and they hadn't flushed it. I guess you can flush the urinal, but of course you don't. So you're just in a rush? Damn. Tough. Phoebe boy. <laughs> <laughs> you have a lot of pee stories. Yeah, what is it with you? Your, your anyway, so then I took him, and he peed and stuff, and I 
as I was walking out, I went, I took a picture of the urinal because I knew I was going to talk about this. And I would just like to use this platform to ask all the men out there to please flush the urinal. Idiots. When nah, you but you know what? It. Girls are nasty, too. Mm. Those rolling loud men's restroom were nasty because of the girls. Oh, yeah. God damn. Someone left a shit mark on one of the couches. Oh, yeah. And what looked to be period blood. Blood, yeah. Which I can only assume is period blood because if it was any other kind of blood, they would have to call the medics. Yeah. It was a heavy flow. I was about to sit down. And I was like, ooh, what is Where? that stain? On the couches. On the couches. At the white Roland, couches? On the couches that we rented. The okay. white couches, there's a shit mark on there. Yeah, we were going to sit there and we're like, you know, let's go across. And then I told Juju, look, there's a stain right there. I don't want to say and it wasn't shit, you? but. No. What's wrong with you? And it might not have been a woman that left the shit mark, but it was definitely a woman that left the blood there. Mm. And I'm just like, not all women. Melissa, I like to think you're a classy woman when it comes to using the restroom. Yeah. But there's some women that just, like... I went into the men's restroom, too, by the way. And there was girls popping squats over the urinals. Yeah. Because, I mean, I get it. The, the women's lines are so long, but... Right. And we're in the VIP. Come on. Like, act like it. <laughs> <laughs> it was not. And then that, girls leaving the stalls. And remember we talked about that. You make it too accessible. Everywhere. Yeah, it was just like... And Ugh. then... But, and it's not just, it, to let you guys know, it just wasn't VIP. The ratchet ass, hoe ass women in fucking the, the artist compound, mm. they flooded the restroom. With maybe toilet paper or. You no. shouldn't clog a restroom. You're an adult. No, it's que a veces. No. A veces no, looks no. nasty. That lets you no, let you do it. What I'm saying is uh, sometimes. You clean yourself. You guys don't know because you don't always clean yourself, right? You have the privilege of no. shaking it twice. Three bring, wipes, you flush. Right. And also don't do this. I also bring flushable wipes. See? Like, come okay, on. Have stop. A... You use toilet paper and not all piping can take the toilet paper. That's crazy because the guys didn't flush. Like, flood. No. They they clogged it. They clogged it because they, clogged it cause they were putting things they shouldn't have put in there. Mm. And And some of them clogged it. I didn't go in there and see, but from what I was told, because they weren't flushing at all. So that means these females were popping the squat, doing their business, uh -huh. leaving it. Mm. Next person comes, sees the pud, the the mud, the puddle. All right, fuck it. I'm gonna do the same thing. And like, it's a mixture. It's a just... smorgasbord of urine to the point where like, and then it got clogged and it started leaking. It flooded. So that happened. Friday night, all of Saturday. These restrooms were actual restrooms, they're or they're trailers, like the trailer oh, ones. But so they had porta potties. But even then, like the the ones that the in a VIP, you just press the. There's a pedal. Yeah, you press the pedal, it, it opens up a hole, everything falls in. Like the ones in the VIP too, nothing was going down, and it was a puddle of like shit and throw up. And not to say, listen, guys are pissing all over the place too. I get it, but like, it's just. Yeah, I let's feel be, like... Let's be responsible adults, guys. Maybe I I think it's just the piping. Maybe they what couldn't piping? handle... It's a, it's a... It is also a, 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 a thing that sucks it in and takes it. No, it just goes down. I trust him because he's has experience with trailers like that. But, uh... Dad, these restrooms are nasty. Public restrooms. Yeah. Well, Mateo put his hands in. I was it. actually going to ask you for some juices... Cause mm. I think, uh, did you wash your hands? The, what I ate, I was I I couldn't go number two because there, there's no word. Then and that's another thing. Like they they had that trailer for all the artists compounds. So it's like two stalls. I don't know how many stalls were in the women's. I think it was like four. But for the guys, it's two stalls, three urinals, and it's all they had. There's nowhere to take a shit. Yeah. So like I was like, damn. Like luckily the first day, there's the where we exited from. Um, when you when it's open, that's only for staff, so no one could go through there. So those were a little cleaner. So like if I really like, I was like, oh man, I can't like. But I think I got so scared that Thursday I was able to go to the restroom. Friday, Saturday, Sunday I couldn't till I got home. So I think I'm a little backed up with all the pizza bagels. I have some tea. I can give you a tea. It's called Smooth Move. <sighs> I just need to unload. 
And yeah, because I was just going to pee. Because yeah, because even us, like we had uh, in the back, they had porta potties, but somehow even those got trashed by staff. And it's just like, come on, guys. Show some respect. Uh, well. Festivals. What a weekend. What a weekend. But I had a blast. And I had a lot of four locals. Overall, I give it a 7 out of 10. Uh, I give it a 4 out of 10. Mm, she only did one day. She did an hour. <laughs> An hour of actual show. Not even. She didn't even do an hour show. She did an no. hour there. She I did an hour there, there, plus the two hours. So with look. the hour walking, the hour to look, and the hour to get there. A good four hours, guys. Made a good uh, m- good content, though. Mm. Made mm-hmm. for great content. That's what our whole show is about. Rolling content. Off. That's it. Anything else See you guys, you guys next week? Oh, no. we're going to do the chips thing? Oh, that's right. Juju, you went. I would hand them over. I know I've been waiting for it. <laughs> All right, so I went to 7-Eleven, and Melissa said to grab our favorite chips. No, you said, <coughs> I'm at 7-Eleven, do you guys want something? And we all asked for something. Yeah, and then you said, grab your favorite chips. Okay, what are your favorite? Well, you got Flamin' Hot Fritos. Good choice. I, I wouldn't call that a good choice. You want to or you won't? I wouldn't. Oh, Flamin' Hot Fritos are fire. I'm not what? big on Fritos. No, the Flaming Hot are great. Flaming Hot Fritos are better than regular Hot Cheetos. Ooh. Mm. The debate. Okay, to me, Flaming a- Hot Fritos dry are better, but Hot Cheetos with lemon are better than Flaming Hot Fritos. Si, pero, no, just regular. You go to the store because you want some chips. That's You're going to eat them like that. What, it's like if I tell you ruffles are good with the dip, the onion dip. Well, yes. Yeah, yeah, but that's not and they how have you onion eat dip them there. all the time. See, those are not better than hot Cheetos. Stop right now. This show's over. This is how I know you're not really fat, bro. <laughs> if you, when you're fat, you will go the extra mile to have that little. They have the the dip. You just say that to the fucking <laughs> comment on that Instagram. The one comment really hit you like that. Vinny yes. Mac made a unique choice to start with because we didn't know we were doing this yet. So he asked for barbecue Pringles. Mm. Never had them. So I'm interested to try them. Try them. Put, put your hands down. They're not for you. <laughs> I am. I told you. I am a gordita, you see. You know, I but would they, never pick. There's so many chips that I would pick before Pringles. Oh, you see that? There goes our endorsement for Pringles. But <laughs> I, I, there, I, I don't fucks with Pringles. It's like that. I just like it because it's consistent. You know what kind of size chip you're going to get every bite. That's true. Mm. And it's cleaner. That's also true. Like, I don't want to be all... Don't but get me know, wrong. I'm I don't not, really go with the flavors, man. I just stick with the OG Pringles. Like, the, that... My that, kids like the onion. Seeing, like, the veggies and all that under it, I was like, oh, it's a little too much for me. What do you mean? It's... Show the camera. Bell pepper, onion. It's like a... Which is good. It's like when a barbecue. it's actual Food. bell pepper, onion. <laughs> but when it's a flavor... But he did. Wait, but let me finish. He followed up with his favorite chips. Yes. Flaming hot fries. Flaming hot fries. Unique choice. I would take the Fritos over the flaming hot fries if we're going dry. Facts. And I, like I was going to get the flaming hot version of this, but I had just had some tacos and I was already like, I'm going to get heartburn. So I got the OG cheddar and sour cream flavor, but the flaming hot one of these. Superior. So those are your favorite? The flaming Hot ones. Hmm. The flaming Hot, of those these. are better than those? Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Because it's the... My, oh, actually, the ones that I really, really like, they're not my favorite, but the, uh, that's my Steve's right now, but I haven't been able to find them, is the barbecue-flavored flaming Hot Fritos. <laughs> that sounds crazy and made up. <laughs> As insane. Fritos, call me, please. I'm your girl. Anyone call me. You know me. what? I In a sandwich? When it comes to sandwich, it has to be Cheeto Puffs or Cheetos, not hot, flaming Hot. No. Or Nacho Cheese Doritos. You threw away the Pringles bag over Fritos? Dude, in Fritos, call well, Fritos me. Is hey. tex- Fritos is technically, technically uh, Pepsi, too, so. Also, also, with some Taco Bell. What's wrong with you? Yeah, you're... I'm a gordita. No, you're not. <laughs> no, that's nasty. Yeah, it's just. We're gonna crunch it up. On what are you gonna hate? I think we're just no, we're cutting it. He's gonna mm-hmm. hate editing this Go. one. 
Actually, no, I want you to do that with the Pringles. I want you to try it. Uh-huh. Mm, let me change my palate. Mm. So good. Weirdo. How many calories? And the is first this? chip. 11 it's real. chips. I was not expecting them to look like this. 160 calories for 11 chips. Right. Stop. See? This is how I know you're not fat, bro. So you're just chubby. I'm not going to throw them here in the cracker. You can't catch either. Look at that. <laughs> Took more stacks. See? I had to take another bite. We should count. How many are no, in here? No, we're not counting. And how many are in there? And is there a price difference? Yeah. We're doing so much. But. No, because look at how much is in here, guys. Are you going to drop them? Stop. <laughs> according to Vinny's, according to Vinny's theory, he might be right. Look how much is in here. They taste like barbecue lays, mm-hmm. but not as heavy flavored, which I like about that. You, you still got that? that like that Pringles. It's just clean. It's good, clean fun. It's like the white claws that you were having. And it's like <laughs> the flavor without the coloring. Wait, by the way, you said you love white claws now? Yeah, it's my new drink of choice. So all this time you've been making fun of me for picking white claws as my drink of choice. Right? How many times did she make fun of me for oh, liking yeah. white claws? And look at you now. I have the black cherry. <laughs> black cherry goes crazy. Both of you guys are whack. Mm. However. But I have ranges. I was drinking four locals too. Yeah. I'm a gym girly now. I have to. And she had a couple more yellows too, so. I picked white claw with a little bit of chamoy on the rim over mm. a michelada. Mm-hmm. I had to. All right, this is over now. Or when you do the michelada cup and you put the mango flavor. Mm, uh, and done. I had the peach flavor. Mm. Fuck. Get like the variety sur- pack. It's a party. It's like being surrounded by uncultured swine. Stop. Hey, let me see the fries. What are your favorite chips? Comment down below. Let us know. I wasn't going to do flame Hot. I don't think I was supposed to eat any chips, period. With your braces? Yeah. They're going to have to use the water pick tonight. I feel I'm stuck in there. Mm. Your cheese are looking good. Thank Vinny you. was cheesing all weekend. Me? Mm-hmm. Do you use braces or is this natural? Natural. Good for you, man. No braces yet. Do your brothers have nice straight teeth? Mm-hmm. What, what's his name? Um. Keep doing it. He's not here to say it, so I'm going to say it for him. Nathan's going to get all mad. Be careful. Mm-hmm. Be he careful. He gets all sentido. <laughs> mm. Hot fries are okay. But I really do feel like I have to eat a lot of them to feel satisfied. I think that's any chip. <laughs> like yeah. There's no filling mm-hmm. chip. Man, you know who uh, who brought it up during the the State of the Union speech? President Biden brought up the chips because you know they they they're less chips, more air, same price. Really? What Fact. are you saying? Fact. So there's less chips in the bag, Listen. way more air, and they charge the same price. No. Look at that. That's the... why it's hard to fake the fuck with Pringles. Look at how many you, you get. Air in them. Look at That's how many like... you get. Yeah, A but lot. you used to get more, and that bag smaller. You get nothing of those. Because it's all air. Yes, I'm, I'm fucking trying to tell you. I'm not I'm trying to, like, argue well, I mean, with this. I mean, like, one. this is a... Let me chase it. <laughs> what? Ooh, you can eat 28 chips for 160 of these calories. Only 11? Fake fat. Is next week our season finale? No, we're supposed to go to April, right? Stuff. Hmm? Is it two more weeks? Hold on. And we still got to do it. But like, I uh, hit us up. Let us know where you guys want us to go. Because if not, I'm going to choose. I don't want anyone. Where well, next week? Our season finale. Dang. Thank you guys for hanging out. All right. We're good? Yep. Yeah. Yeah.